The words out of your mouth are important when you're communicating, but your body language also is communicating on your behalf. Now, if you're giving a set business speech, political speech, something in the professional arena, your words are tremendously important. It is a myth. You may have heard the old survey from 1972 from UCLA purporting to show a, a, professor, a professor measuring that when you look at all communication, 55% of it is your body language, a mere 7% the words, and the rest, 38%, your voice. Turns out that is a complete misconstruing of the researcher's findings. That's not at all what his research showed. But it doesn't mean that body language is unimportant. You do need to exude the, the appropriate body language regardless of the context. If you are speaking to one associate, one family member or friend, having them sit down and you standing up behind the lectern, grabbing the lectern, would be considered weird and very uncomfortable for them. That wouldn't work. You need to be sitting down and relaxed as well. For most people, communicating one-on-one, -on -one, family, friends, colleagues, the body language part is easy. You just move in a natural way. The hard part for most people is once you're outside of your comfort zone, you're used to speaking to five people sitting down, now you have to stand in front of 30 people. What do you do? You get scared, you stiffen up, you grab a lectern, your body stops moving, your hands stop moving, your face stops moving. That's the real problem. So the key for most people is figure out how does your body move when you're completely comfortable talking to one friend and then do the same thing in any context, whether you're talking to a thousand people, 10,000 people on a stage. As a part of a panel, you might not be standing, but you're sitting, you still want your hands to move, your face to move, your body move. The biggest body movement problem most people have is when they are nervous, they stop doing most of the things they do when they're comfortable, and they start adding new things like grabbing a lectern or holding a pen or fidgeting with a ring finger. You want to avoid the new fidgety things because you're nervous, and you want to continue doing the natural movement you do when you are completely relaxed having a conversation with one friend.